Fashion rule number one, no white after Labor Day. Ladies, when you hear a rule like that, what is your first reaction? You wanted to break it, right? I'm with you. Who invented these rules? Today's video, I will walk you through how to wear white after Labor Day. This video is in collaboration with my friend Isabella. Her channel is Lifestyle with Isabella. Click on this link and check out her new video today on how to break the fashion rules. If you're ever curious, how did all these rules come into place? No white after Labor Day. This rule was first introduced in the 1900s when the old money families of New England wanted to tell themselves apart from people with the new money. So they wanted to come across as we have this rule and you don't know about the rule. So that's how all this came into place. In today's world, obviously not relevant anymore and it's no longer a question of whether or not you can wear white after Labor Day. But why are we still even talking about it to begin with? The reason is some whites are better after Labor Day than others. It's not because there's a social rule that says you can wear this or can wear that, but it's because of the season transitioning. So some whites are more appropriate for the fall, whereas there are some whites that are considered the summer whites. If you still want to wear them, it's better to change it up a little bit or mix it up with some something else so that they look more season appropriate. The white eyelet top. These are my favorites for the summer. I can wear them every day. When the seasons start to change, they are no longer the best choice, at least not by themselves because they are really thin, because this is like the summer staple, then the way to wear it is to wear it with jeans and pair it with a jacket. And number two is a white maxi dress or white maxi skirt. Once again, these are the summer staple and this green summer, especially if the skirt or the dress is made of pure cotton, even though they are the most ideal clothes for the summer, when it transitions into the fall, it doesn't go very well with the color of the season. So your best bet is to either put them up till next year or you can change it up, a cardigan on top of it, and that will make it much better to transition it to the fall. And number three, it's more about the fabrics and less about the color. So you can really pretty much wear white any time of the year. If you're wearing white after Labor Day, you want to choose the fabrics that has a little texture. White sweater, white cashmere, white wool, or white coats, any of those items can really work very well in the fall and in the winter. Wearing white after Labor Day, the best way to do it is to pair your summer white items with the fall staples. What are the fall staples? The sweat boots, a denim jacket, scarves. Pair your summer white items with the fall staple. That way you can wear them well into the fall and you will stay warm and you will look very season appropriate. You want to wear a different shade of white. The summer whites are really white white. Labor Day. In the fall, you can try a different shade of white. Cream or ivory, those are different shades of white that adds more subtlety to your outfit. You can even wear white on top of white, but with a different combination of white shades. So that will look, make your outfit look much more interesting and much more sophisticated. And number five, you want to wear white sparingly. So instead of wearing white from top to bottom, because white is such a neutral color, it goes pretty much with everything. You can pair it with anything in your wardrobe, but it's better to pair it with the color of the season. The one thing good about this no white after Labor Day rule though, is that after Labor Day, or even in August, the retailers will start to discount white clothing really heavily. So this is a good opportunity for us to stock up on those. 
and I suggest you invest in white color outerwear. White cardigans, white blazers, white jackets. Those are the items you can keep wearing into the fall and even in the winter. White jeans is also a great investment because everybody needs a pair of white jeans. And after Labor Day, white jeans that you will use most often are the narrow leg or the skinny white jeans because you can pair those with booties or tall boots in the fall and they are really versatile. So ladies, you don't have to care about the fashion rules, but you should care about what your body type is and how to best dress for your body shape. Because understanding your body type, your treats, that is the step number one towards discovering your own best assets and understand your weaknesses and dress accordingly to feel your very best and feel like yourself. Watch my playlist of videos on how to discover your body type and how to dress for your particular body shape and let me know if you have any questions.